Welcome to the second of the currently weekly Matt Parker's Maths Puzzles. I'm Matt Parker and the Maths Puzzle is what is the minimum amount of fuel to get a train from one end of the track to the other. Allow me to explain. I built a model train here. Um, I've used an empty can from my recycling. I'm very much locked in my house at the moment and this is the best I can do. But as you can see, I've built a uh, fuel gauge and my train here goes from zero fuel all the way up to 500 fuel and that's how far it can travel. So uh, you could say uh, up to 500 miles, let's say. So fully fueled, 500 miles, starts off empty. The track is going to be this measuring tape and to start off with, We'll put the train over here at this end of the track. You know what, I'm going to put an arrow on the train for the avoidance of uh, doubt. You can see I already decorated the train by writing the word train on it to remove any ambiguity and I've put two squared over there. Right, so there's the train uh, right at the station. It's now going to head along the tracks and it needs to end up over here at uh, Party Town. Party Town is uh, 600 miles or 600 millimeters, however you want to look at it, away from where the train starts. Party Town I've made out of a bottle. You can um, get a sense of both my recycling and my current diet. Okay, so the train can have up to 500 miles or millimeters of fuel, which sadly means if it was to uh, fill up over here at the depot before it leaves, and then as it uh, heads down the track, you can do your own um, chewing at home, it gradually runs out of fuel until it hits zero here. It's now um, still 100 miles short of party town, so that's not going to work. However, the great thing about coal, because this is a, a steam train, is coal and you can just offload it on the side of the tracks. It's not gonna go off, it's not gonna evaporate, it'll sit there till later on. So what we're gonna do is uh, set the train going fully loaded. It's gonna head on down the tracks 200 miles. So it's got 300 miles of fuel remaining. It's now going to offload 100 miles worth of fuel. It's gonna dump all of that on the side of the road um, there. 200 miles in, which means it's now down to 200 miles remaining because it's just dumped 100 miles worth of fuel. Now it's going to turn around. And I did double check, trains, steam trains, can easily go in reverse with an equal amount of efficiency. They just change the way some pistons do a thing or something. So it can, with no loss of efficiency, flip into reverse and it's got enough fuel for the 200 miles back to the depot when it runs out. For the purposes of this puzzle, we're going to assume there is an infinite amount of fuel to start with where the train starts, and then no other fuel available until you get to Party Town. Party Town is all about fuel. Um, but now it's got a reservoir of 100 here, so what it can do is it refills at the depot. Here we go, all the way back up to full. And then off it goes. 200 miles later, it's used up 200 miles worth of fuel, but now it can put this fuel on board. So there we are, we're taking that fuel on board, goes up another 100, and now we've got 400 miles of fuel. It's now got enough fuel to carry on along the track, and as it does the last 400 miles, it gradually uses up all of its fuel until it hits zero right as it pulls into party town. So that's a way, with an infinite amount of fuel here, and only a capacity of 500 miles, you can travel 600 miles. Well, you had to travel more than that because you had to do 200, then 200, then the 600, so it was a total of a thousand miles, and you had to do uh, one stopping and refueling part way along. But it works. Not saying it's the most efficient way, just saying it's doable. Your challenge for this week's Matt Parker's Mass Puzzle is if instead Party Town was all the way out here at 800 miles, and the train starts with an infinite amount of fuel over there at zero, what is the minimum amount of fuel required to get the train from there to there 
without running out of fuel. And you can stop and drop fuel as many times as you want. And you can go any distance, leave some fuel, go back, get some fuel from somewhere else, take it somewhere else, that's fine. The challenge is just what's the minimum amount of fuel measured in miles to do 800 miles on a 500 mile tank. So that's the submittable part of the puzzle. If you go onto the Think Mouse website, there'll be a link in the description. That goes live in the amount of time after this video went published as the length of the video. So if you're watching this the moment it came out, that link won't be there until the video has finished. If you go on there, you can enter in your solution to that puzzle. Thank you so much, the thousands of people who entered last time. That solution video will be out on Friday. So in a couple of days time, you will find out all the solutions and everything that people sent in about the rotating table with the places on it. In just over a week from now, I will put out a video about this puzzle. But as well as that simple, like submittable solution of the minimum number of miles for this distance, I'm curious, how much can you generalize this? What if the train had a different capacity? What if the party town was different distances? How can you minimize for any given distance and any given capacity, the amount of fuel it requires or the amount of stops it requires or who knows? I'm going to leave it to you. That's the open part of this question. If you think you've got some interesting findings or working out or you've uh, made some animations, people have sent in some cool animations about the table puzzle, or you've written some code and you've simulated it, that's great. Anything you think is interesting, if you send it to matt plus puzzles at standupmaths.com, I will put it in the solution video, which will be out a week and a couple days Friday from now. So there you are. Go and submit your solution to the submittable part of the problem. We are giving points based on how fast we get different answers. We're still tweaking exactly how we're going to do the calculations to get the leaderboard. We're working on it. See the video in a couple of days' time. We will have finalized it by then. And uh, do, yeah, have a play. See if you can get some other solutions. And uh, send me an email if you get any. If you excuse me, I'm going to go and start work on a second party town.